Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. We are reading The Power of Intention by Dr. Wayne W. Dyer. We are still on chapter one. Combining free will with intention. In mathematics, two angles that are said to coincide fit together perfectly. The word coincidence does not describe luck or mistakes. It describes that which fits together perfectly. By combining free will with intention, you harmonise with the universal mind. Rather than operating in your own mind outside of this force called intention, your goal may very well be, as you read this book, to work at being in harmony at all times with intention. When life appears to be working against you, when your luck is down, when the supposedly wrong people show up, or when you slip up and return to old, self-defeating habits, recognise the signs that you're out of harmony with intention. You can and will reconnect in a way that will bring you into alignment with your own purpose. For example, when I write, I open myself to the possibilities of universal spirit and my own individual thoughts collaborating with fate to produce a helpful, insightful book. But as I reconsidered my account of leaving alcohol behind me, I wanted another example to put in this chapter of how intention collaborates with life circumstances to produce what we need. Recently, my 19-year-old daughter, Summer, told me that she had quit her temporary job as a restaurant hostess and wasn't sure what she wanted to do before resuming her college studies. I asked her what made her feel most purposeful and happy. And she said it was teaching horseback riding to young children, but she refused to return to the old barn where she had worked a year before because she felt unappreciated, overworked and underpaid. I was in Maui writing this first chapter on a new perspective on, on intention when we had this telephone conversation. I launched into my intention as a force in the universe feel and told my daughter that she needed to realign her thoughts and so on. Open up to receiving the assistance you desire, I told her. Trust in intention, it exists for you. Stay alert and be willing to accept any guidance that comes your way. Stay in vibrational harmony with the all providing source. The next day, at the very moment I was searching for that additional example of intention to put into this chapter, the telephone rang and it was summer bubbling with enthusiasm. You're not going to believe this, Dad. On second thought, I'm sure you'll believe it. Remember yesterday how you told me to open to intention to be open to intention. I was skeptical. I was skeptical, even thinking that's my weird dad, but I decided to try it. Then I saw a sign on a telephone pole that said horseback riding lessons, and there was a telephone number. I wrote the number down and just called it. The woman who answered told me that she needed to hire someone she could trust to do trail rides with the young kids. She pays exactly double what I was making at the restaurant. I'm going out to see her tomorrow. Isn't that cool? Cool? Hell yes, it's cool. Here I am writing a book, looking for a good example, and it arrives in the form of help I was attempting to offer the day before to my daughter. Two for the price of one. Merging your individual thoughts with the universal mind. Our individual thoughts create a prototype in the universal mind of intention. You and your power of intention are not separate. So when you form a thought within, so when you form a thought within you, that's commensurate with, that's commensurate with spirit, you form a spiritual prototype that connects you to intention and sets into motion the manifestation of your desires. Whatever you wish to accomplish is an existing fact already present in spirit. Eliminate from your mind thoughts of conditions, limitations 
or the possibility of it not manifesting. If left undisturbed in your mind and in the mind of intention simultaneously, it will germinate into reality in the physical world. In simpler words, all things whatsoever ye pray and ask for. So all things whatsoever ye pray and ask for, believe that ye have, have received them and ye shall receive them. That's from Mark 11.24. So all things whatsoever ye pray and ask for, believe that ye have received them and ye shall receive them. In this scriptural quotation, you are told to believe that your desire has already been fulfilled and then it will be accomplished. Know that your thought or prayer is already here. Remove all doubt so that you create a harmonious thought with universal mind of intention. When you know this beyond doubt, it will be realised in the future. This is the power of intention at work. I'll close this section with words from Aldous Huxley, one of my favourite authors. The spiritual journey does not consist in arriving at a destination where a person gains what he did not have or become what he is not. It consists in the dispensation of one's own ignorance concerning oneself and life and the gradual growth of that understanding which begins the spiritual awakening. The finding of God is a coming to oneself. In this first chapter, I've asked, you, I've asked you to stop doubting the existence of a universal omnipresent force I've called intention and told you that you can link to and be carried to your destination on the energy of intention. Here are my suggestions for putting this to work in your life. Five suggestions for implementing the ideas in this chapter. Number one. Whenever you feel out of sorts, lost, or even in a sour mood, visualize the trolley strap hanging down from the field of intention three or four feet above your head. Imagine floating up and allowing the trolley to carry you to your built-in intention. This is a tool for implementing surrender in your life. Number two, say the word intent or intention repeatedly when you're in a state of anxiety or when everything around you seems to have conspired to keep you from your mission. This is a reminder to be peaceful and calm. Intention is spirit and spirit is silently blissful. Number three, tell yourself that you have a life mission and a silent partner who is accessible at any moment you choose. When ego defines you by what you have or do, or compares you to others, use your power of free will to terminate those thoughts. Say to yourself, I'm here on purpose. I can accomplish anything I desire, and I do it by being in harmony with the all-pervading creative force in the universe. This will become an automatic way of responding to life. Synchronistic results, will begin to happen. Number four, act as if anything you desire is already here. Believe that all that you seek, you've already received, that it, ex that it exists in spirit and know you shall have your desires fulfilled. One of my 10 secrets for success and inner peace is to treat yourself as if you already are what you'd like to become. Number five, copy this ancient has, Hasidic, Hasidic saying and carry it with you for a year. It's a reminder of the power of intention and how it can work for you every day in, in every way. When you walk across the fields with your mind pure and holy, then from all the stones and all growing things, and all animals, the sparks of their soul, come out and cling to you. And then they are purified and become a holy fire in you. Let's repeat that. 
when you walk across the fields with your mind pure and holy, then from all the stones and all growing things and all animals, the sparks of their soul come out and cling to you, and then they are purified and become a holy fire in you. In the next chapter, I describe how this field of intention might look where you able to see it and what the faces of intention look like. I'll close this chapter with another quotation from Carlos Castaneda's teacher, Don Juan Matus. The spirit reveals, <clears throat> the spirit reveals itself to everyone with the same intensity and consistency, but only warriors are consistently attuned to such revelations. The spirit reveals itself to everyone with the same intensity and consistency, but only warriors are, con are consistently attuned to such revelations. Readers and warriors alike proceed in the spirit of free will to access the power of intention.